I'm gonna try something. What a pointless. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's try this. They are week two. Fire the most. It worked! Guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we got the crap kicked out of us, and that was a very long time ago for everyone involved. It was actually before a hiatus, kind of. There were reasons behind that. I'll get to it in a minute. Um, I just wanted to see whether I could get a 300,000, you know, that, that metal taken care of. And I could. And that felt good. It didn't work the first battle because I went in and insta-killed everything the moment I joined the battle, so it kind of sucked. Deal with 300,000 damage with a single hit. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the 300, the 3 million damage in a single hit for a little bit, but uh, or the 30 million damage, but eventually I'll get those, for sure. Don't worry, I won't lie. <laughs> Alright, so, story time. Uh, I, uh, Short answer, I was really down in the dumps for a while. Some things happened. I, I'm i sorry for not being around, guys. I got extremely depressed and decided that I would rather just lay on my bed staring up at my ceiling half the days than actually do something. And I am better. <laughs> it took a lot of work and stuff, but I'm better. Um, no danger or anything, of course, because I just am not like that for the most part. But I just didn't feel like doing anything between the things that were happening that was depressing me and just trying to keep up with work and trying to not be dead every day was difficult but I am here and I'm back and you guys are back if you guys have caught my streams then you know I have been using those a bit I've been playing some of the uh, uh, Nino Kuni 1 on PS3 and I've been having fun with that I'm in, I'm just getting out of the second third area I guess take maybe second or third area of the game and that's pretty cool uh I just played through reset here uh two of the two streams that are on the 4th of July and just one this morning actually and that was pretty awesome um reset here is a great game if you don't know about it it's called reset here and item shop sale and it is fantastic like you get to run an eye shop and so cute and fun and just made me really happy it just was fun to play and made me happy. And I got to be a capitalist, a capitalistic pig. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Uh, also, another thing that I was having problems with was um, actually editing. My editing software was having a bunch of issues, and I ended up having to re uninstall it, reinstall it multiple times to try to figure out what the problem was. I ended up figuring it out. It was actually a corrupted file somewhere else on my computer that was messing it up. And so a good hard drive wipe fixed that. That hard drive wipe wasn't on purpose. Don't ask. Luckily, none of my Let's Play stuff was lost because that's on a different drive. All right, now uh, let's get going. Uh, where, oh, where is the thing? Um, give me a second. Okay, so back in the Crystal Caverns, we got candy cane, lollipop, and cake. So I'll use those real quick. Okay, put a battery in here. Uh, wait, actually, keys. I have two steel keys. Yeah, I can use one of them here. Oh, I get a new gun, the Ultra Zapper. Drains MP from targets with certain skills. May cast silver foil with certain skills. Eight red LEDs and three seven segment displays. Which I could have obtained way earlier, but I didn't. So in here, you want to have one off and turn two on, which blocks this path, and then you leave here. And just because I'm kind of a control freak, taking that back. Okay, you want six to be on. So up here you want both of these to be off. Four and five. 
So thus far you want one off, two and three on, uh, four and five off, six on, seven up there you want to be off. Uh, how do you get around this? I think you have to go to the left here. No. Wait, am I doing this wrong? Might be doing this wrong. Oh, right. I remember now. Uh, you don't do any of this. So once you have those ones set up, you have to leave the factory. And then go and teleport in via the other, you know, slime cat. Or go through the crystal caverns. Either way. So, slime cat, ho! Okay. So you want 9 to be on, 8 to be off. We've already gone over 7, I think, which was in the, one of the other rooms. And it will leave this door open. 10 on the back side of the factory should also be on. I've got a bad feeling about this room. It's like a graveyard for defective hardware, a breeding ground for computer viruses. Okay. We get the Juggernaut Bow. Boost the power of bomb skills. May cast big blasts with certain skills. Cool. We got titanium and gunpowder. We got the candy cane, a plutonium core, and four ram chips. Honeycomb, sushi, and lollipops. And now right up here. What the hell is that thing? It doesn't look like a normal foe. Uh... Uh Okay. How? Why? What? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's get that auto res going. I don't know how to do this. Seems to absorb all of our attacks. Um. Yeah. I guess this. best thing I can hope for is probably overheal. I mean, none of this will save me. Am I just supposed to die? Okay, let's attempt this again. It took what the hell is that thing? It doesn't look like a normal foe. Okay, perfect. It is working. Um, attack up. Is it dead? Was it even alive? Okay, that was easy. Cool. That thing scared the hell out of me. Sorry. Elite hacker. So that was the infamous virus that corrupted all the robots in this factory? How did it take on a physical form like that? Maybe all, of, maybe all of reality is just a computer program. That's deep, man. Treasure Hunter. Okay, we got the Cosmic Monolith. The reason I was actually here, uh, Dark Matter and Dark Rune. Okay, we got two new medals, which I'll check out right now before I forget. Elite Hacker, defeat the glitch on any difficulty. And... 
Okay, it wasn't epic. Cool. I was worried about that for a moment. And where is the other one? Treasure tre treasure hunter. Collect 333 treasure chests. There's more, but getting all of them could be frustrating. Cool. That's actually really cool. So now that I'm done with that, I don't have to worry about that ever again. Ah, well, you're done. You're now my student. Here, you can have this orb back. So, for getting an orb, I get Karate Gi, buffs evade when hit by a powerful attack, honeycomb, and um, get the orb back. Cool. Candy cane on him. Lollipop on her. Sushi on him. Try to make up for her lack of HP, I guess. Okay, so if you follow these clouds back down here. Oh. Oh, damn, I can't read the writing on them. Oh, well, here's some food for you pizza, ham, and beef. Nice. So, ham goes to you, and beef. I mean, sure. Okay, so if I go back through the caves now. Right over here. Boom shakalaka. Let's fight it. Well, this is an interesting thing. I didn't realize this is what was going to be here, but, um... Scan! Cool. Barrier Rune. Uses defensive buffs and holy attacks and will self-destruct at low HP. Plasma Rune. Uses defensive buffs and thunder attacks. Will self-destruct at low HP. Let's run away. Actually, wait. Go back in for a moment. What is the weak against? I never checked it. Protector. A guardian of ancient ruins. Well built using cat technology. It uses bomb, thunder, and earth attacks. Summons plasma and barrier runes. Earth, ice, water, explosion. Okay. Just wanted to be sure I knew what it was. Yeah, this thing should be pretty dang easy. <laughs> I'm gonna say we should have fought this thing way earlier, considering it's level 31 and we're level 36, and levels do matter in this game. Yeah, we're evading all of its hits. This is actually kind of sad for a boss battle that I think this one might have given me trouble in Epic Battle Fantasy 3. <laughs> At storing explosive energy, I've got a feeling that we should defend ourselves or something. Just maybe. I mean, we can only deal half damage this turn anyway. Might as well. Um, Dispel? Nope. And now, where is that one? That one? Yeah. 
Well, is this the power of ancient cat technology? We must capture it. Okay. Not a problem. Done. Easy. Hooray, we did it. It's ours now. Okay, we got honeycomb, which is cool. Sushi, which is cool. A bunch of other cool things, but main mainly those two. Those are the most useful ones. Unprotected. We got the night armor. Randomly makes the player tired. The protector. Okay. And that's it. Cool. Take all the blood orbs with you, because I have not turned in that one quest yet. And while I'm thinking about it, night armor. Dang, I need more silver plates, but that's actually a good amount of defense. As a quick note, uh, Crimson, you were currently messaging me, and what the hell, man? Yes, you are ruining my recording. <laughs> You're very skilled. You may, you may take these shards of mithril. Here's your orbs back. We got the balanced badge, boosts stats a bit, blood orbs, and one mithril shards. Um, forge, balance, okay, plus 10 to offensive and defensive stats is not bad. Um, I mean, I think it might make sense giving to him. Yeah, 10%. Make Matt the ultimate tank forever. Wait, what? I hit the equip button and it gave me the thing I was trying to get for a while that I just kept up. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. So, dress up game. Fully upgrade 30 hats or armors. You'll need plenty of different armor for the hardest battles. It wouldn't give me the thing. I went into Forge and started... Okay, minor interruption. Uh, I was upgrading everything. I was upgrading everything I could and it wouldn't give it to me. I was like, does it have to be specifically hats or armor? Is that really what it's doing to me? And wouldn't give it to me. And then I just hit the equip button and it immediately gave it to me. I went, what? And that was like 10 screens ago. I was going around. I even bought up, like used up most of my money. I was going to go get ready for this battle, which I think I'm ready for. I need to look at the list of summons and everything. But give me a minute. Okay, so there is one summon I haven't gotten, and it's a part of the Battle Mountain segment, I believe. I believe that's the only one I'm missing, and as such, I do not care about it currently. I'll get it during the post-game content stuff, which Battle Mountain probably should have been in general, but forget it, who cares? And now we're back in the battle. Okay, these guys are evasive as hell. Let's get to it. I remember I I just have to defend or something. I was expecting you. What do you feel you can accomplish? Filthy humans, your fortitude is obscenity. Do you think you mean you can defeat your god? Time of darkness has arised, arisen. Okay, let's start by dispelling the enemy. Okay, failed to spell. What were these guys weak against? I can try bombs. Darkness? Let's try it. Nice. I'd say that worked pretty well. Defend. Ow. I 
I'd say it was probably a good thing I defended. Heal us all. Okay, uh, I really only have one garlic I'm not prepared. Um, let's try to dispel once again. Did not work, okay. All the same, this is going better. And they are weak to bombs summon let's make us all stronger while healing us Kian and drop bombs <laughs> Okay, this is the creator, weak to bombs, water, electricity, earth, and darkness. Darkness, good amount the most. Okay. Keep us all healed up while whittling away at its HP. Um... Sure. Let's use some fire magic. Also, I forgot to change her... Okay. I guess I forgot to do that. Completely forgot she was using that. Almost perfect. Really, I was really hoping that would hit everyone. Okay, what's my most powerful single hit attack? Great. Oh, she is immune to that, thanks to that staff she's holding. A 
I'm almost done with the second stage. We're doing great. Keep it up. We've got to get, defeat her at any cost. Okay. I... Um... I'm almost certain they're going to be weak to bombs or something, so... Scan these things, because I haven't before. Blade of Heaven, a divine blade which uses powerful non-elemental attacks. Okay, so they would have actually been weak to his attacks, but it's okay. Just keep on healing forever. Wow, miss us all much? And done. Oh, great, they're back. Hi, I'm back. That actually hit. So it's probably a survive kind of deal again, so... Oh, I'm hurting them now. This isn't what I was planning on. Uh, get in the back row. Okay. Give you a beer. And give you a cleaver. Probably shouldn't have wasted that then. Oh well. Oh wow. Eons ago, there were countless civilizations far greater than any of today. They built towers to the heavens and were capable of magnificent technology. I've ruined them all effortlessly. You feeble creatures are nothing to me. Hi. Godcat finally shows her true nature. So, uh, yeah, let's not do this. Die. You don't belong in this world, monsters. This is a world for men now. And cats without arms. Not you. You don't deserve to be here. Happens, 
And now everyone gets healed. <sighs> the destroyer, more like the destroyed. Okay, um, scan. This is the Destroyer, the Destroyer of Worlds, uses dark, poison, earth, and fire attacks, summons blades of hell, red crystals, and many other foes. It is weak to fire, ice, earth, and light, primarily light. Um, ice, you say? 103,000. Oh, wow. Let's up our defense. Sure. Ice. See arrow rain. And Sure. Let's do the red dragon. I was really hoping it would wipe them out, but okay. Well, that one's dead. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I never scanned that monster. Zoology expert, all data. Oh, hey, that was the last monster. So there's no new enemies from here on out. Or at least no new scannable enemies. That seems unfortunate. For you. For you. And a good old fashioned healing for me. Let's get rid of this thing. Just note that. Nice. I have my limit break for when it switches back. Weaken decreases. Oh. Increases damage taken and decreases. Nice. Oh, that's only dark damage. Nah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, so. Let's do this. Oh, great. 
A cron was my final gift to the humans, and I thought that would be the end of them. I created an abomination to ensure no species could ever thrive on this planet again, but I can no longer sense a cron's presence. Could it be? Hey, the guy from the last game. Yeah, that was me, by the way. Hi! It wasn't Anna, but it was the rest of us. Um... Guess I'll just keep the healing going for now. <sighs> I guess I can re-equip. I should have done this a few turns ago. Um. Yeah, arrow rain. That was pretty close. Ow. Okay. One for you. And one for you. And one for everyone. A solid Genesis. He died and came back again. And died. Any species that defies its purpose will return to the dust of whence it came. Humans are a plague on this plague on this world. A plague that must be purged with hellfire. Nothing can stand in my path of death and destruction. Okay. I mean you're wrong, but you're entitled to your own opinion, even if it's a wrong opinion. Here she comes, get ready. Okay. And she's alive again. So let's heal up. And use Power Blast. It really wasn't enough. Swap you out. Quick slash. So his limit break is now ready, that's good to know. Ah, oh, crap, I wasn't trying to kill them all yet. Well, that was lucky. Lucky! You get in the back. No, I wasn't. I screwed up. Well, fine. Um, heal you for a thousand MP because you need it. And you're dead. And you're close to dead.
You know what? Final boss battle. Let's use a piece of pizza. A single piece of pizza for everyone. Oh. Great. Both of them once we're finished. There's no way we can win. Yeah, well, um... I guess I just have to focus one of them at a time. Okay. Light elemental on you. Ah, you missed. You didn't. Keep it together. I don't think she can use that attack too often. Let's get back on our feet. Okay, got lucky. Wait, how do you feel about bombs? You don't care either way. He does have a fire one, which would work. Fine. May cost her her life. Let's do it. Let's try to be as smart about this as possible. Using everyone to its fullest potential. The Destroyer. <laughs> like, the Destroyed? Oh! Yes, one down, but don't let your guard down yet. It only hit her. <laughs> okay. These guys are weak to bombs. Okay, so let's drop bombs. Oblivion. Just me versus you, the final battle. What I would imagine God Cut and Cat to actually look like. Okay, um, re equip you. You do not have that sword anymore. I can make him more resistant, but then, eh, whatever. It should be fine. Change this staff. And keep on dropping bombs on you. Nice! That DPS, though! Another 120,000? That was a different. Never mind. <laughs> I am stupid and it is okay. It's fine and okay. Ooh. 
Oh, that was actually fine. This is fine. Okay, final form. We've done it. She can't possibly keep fighting after all that, right? Yeah, you had to open your mouth. Perhaps I was mistaken in judging humans so harshly. I now see the magnitude of your strength, wisdom, and courage. I had always wished for cats to exhibit these qualities, but it was never meant to be. I accept that humans have earned this world. Interesting. Your strength is but a fraction of my own, and yet, in the face of certain death, you humans are determined to fight for existence. I shall spare your pitiful lives, and will instead observe how your story develops from now on. I'm sure we'll meet again. What? We didn't beat- we didn't beat them? They just give up? We just swayed God. Yes. The world is saved. After a long and grueling battle, it seemed that the party was going to be defeated by the immortal Godcat. However, Godcat began to feel some empathy towards the humans. She had always wished for cats to become this strong, and was saddened by the realization of her failure as a mother. Godcat finally realized that this world she had created no longer belonged to her. It belonged to the humans now, and they would do anything to protect it. Godcat's abandoned children had grown powerful enough to rebel against their creator, more than the cats ever could. The world did not unfold as she had desired. And so, Godcat departed once more into the vastness of space in search of a new world to call her home. While a better understanding of her limitations, she would not make the same mistakes again. She would continue on her quest to create the perfect world for cats. The cats that had brought together the three jewels and summoned Godcat were recognized for their bravery. They ascended into the heavens along with their mother and would seed the population of their world. Noegs was also given the chance to go on Godcat's journey, but refused the offer, as he'd already had a home here. Hey, that was a pretty good ending! I like the part about the cats! I think it could use some work. I found the characters in the story undeveloped and difficult to relate to. I'd give it a 4 out of 10 at best. Some more character development would have been nice. I would have liked a decent love story. Now, we may have to leave that to the fans, and I don't really trust them. It all ended too soon! I hope we can all go on more adventures someday! Huh? What's this? It looks like we can restart the game without losing all of our stuff! Yay! This is a little surprise that I negotiated with the developer. Oh. Um. So we did it. <laughs> I guess that's just how they skip through it. The world is saved. Beat the game and save the world. Uh, nice. That's it, guys. We actually beat Epic Battle Fantasy IV like that. I thought that it was going to be a longer battle. <laughs> Weird. Okay. So guys, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy IV. Uh, I was planning on using the chili sauce during that last phase, but it wasn't necessary. She gave up the battle. Summons the most powerful creature to obliterate your enemies. I still need to do that. I'll take care of some of these next episode, and I have probably a couple episodes of the post game to do, but it shouldn't be very long. It'll be a lot of grinding off screen for me, though, to get the 30 million damage. That'll be on my time, though, not yours. So, guys, I'll see you all next time.